hello traders so welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i am going to share a complete guide on how you can draw potential support and the resistance level i will also tell you how i draw extreme level of support and resistance level and why you should use whole number while drawing those key levels so let's get started first of all what we are going to focus is how you can draw a key support or a resistance level and after that we will switch to the extreme levels and at the end of this video i am going to explain you about why you should use whole number level and how you can include those levels while placing your support and the resistance zone so let's get started so first of all what you have to understand is you have to draw the levels which are very obvious drawing a support and the resistance level is not like a painting traders uh, beginner traders what they do they draw every level that is present on the chart and that is the first mistake that they do because if you draw so many levels you will end up getting distracted you have to be very focused which you want to use because you have to know what you're gonna do with the chart and the levels so the obvious levels are the important one and that is the level that you are going to draw so the first thing is you have to zoom out a little bit and you have to find which levels looks very promising and very obvious for me if i use this this looks like a resistance to me and obviously this looks like a support to me and this also looks like a support to me but is it useful for me right now well for me this level is of no use to me why because market is here so you have to focus on drawing levels which are near to the market for me if you look carefully you will see that this is uh, this was previously working as a resistance and now as it's been broken the chances are there that it will work as a potential support level in the future so this is an important level for me but drawing a single level is uh, is not enough why because like uh, there are so many traders who will look at this level and say that this is a potential support level in the future but some of them will use this as a level some of them will use this as a level some of them will use this as a level and to uh, like to cover the majority you have to draw an area so always try to draw a zone using two horizontal levels so this looks like a promising support level to me so this is what we can use in the future if market goes down and retraces back like on this level we can use this level to place a retracement reversal trade so that's how you can draw the level now let's try to uh, draw more levels like as you can see market is here and i can't see any near levels so going back like for a trillion years back is not going to work you have to use the recent level because recent level is going to work for you if you use like a one year uh, past one year resistance it's in most cases it will not going to work because you are trading over smaller time frame i'm uh, i'm just telling you how you can draw the levels according to my strategy i'm not saying anything which is going to be universal as we are trading as i trade over smaller time frame we have to use the recent level like in this case this looks like a recent resistance so this is a potential resistance if this there is a uh, breakout this could work as a potential support level now let's try to draw more levels in the chart so as you can see market is here so for me if you want to if i want to trade today i have to use the levels which are near to the market situation and the first thing first of all let me change the color i have to do it again and again okay so here and this is a potential 
resistance level because it's very near to the market and we can use this now why you have to include see i'm use uh, i'm drawing the area by including the last wick and where i'm getting the most touches like in this case i'm getting almost all the reversals like from this level from here and here as well so that's why you have to try uh, to draw the zone in which you will find most reversals see there is no universal rule about it you can use this you can use this it's all up to you but try to make sure that the area the zone that you are creating is compressed and it's not like you draw like this this is the resistance zone for you because as you are trading over smaller time frame you need very precise level so for me this level is really great and uh, if we zoom out here you can see it was previously working as a support so let's try to draw a level i'll use this one so you can see it it really worked here and let's try to include that one so this is this was previously working as a support now let's try to find market did reverses from this level and you can see the wick here also so and what you can do also is that this is the nearest level and it was working as a resistance previously now it uh, it worked as a support and here also it worked as a support so that's how you can draw a key level that will work for you let's try to uh, draw one or two more levels so that you can understand what i'm trying to teach you so right now market is here the nearest level that is very obvious and can potentially reverse the market is for me is this level so what i will do i will create a zone this zone looks promising to me and it included all the major rejections so this is a zone of support and you can see it worked previously and we can trust this level for the future but understand one thing using the same level again and again is not uh, uh, advisable because at the end these levels are going to be broken so make sure that you are not overusing them using them once twice or maximum three times is on a safer it, it will be on a safer side but using them again and again will be riskier so make sure you use them wisely and in less numbers so you can see this is a potential support level and market did respected this zone and uh, if you want to draw a resistance in this case for the future market the nearest obvious level is here this is the nearest level which is obvious and we can trust this level so that's how you can draw the support and the resistance level now let's talk about what are extreme levels because once you know how to draw the levels you can draw the extreme level also so I will uh, move forward to the first chart. So this is the chart. And if you look carefully, like drawing an extreme level is easy once you know how you can do that. So first of all, you have to understand that drawing an extreme level, you have to find a trendy market. Once like in this case, you can see the market was trendy. It was going up, up and up. And here market got consolidated and reversed back market was not able to break through so this is the last point where market was able to push through so what you will do you will use that same level and you will use the same technique of drawing a potential resistance zone so this is a resistance zone but I call it an extreme level because this is where the last time market tried hitting it. Suppose if we are seeing this chart only, I'm not talking about the future outcome. Suppose if we are looking at this chart and this is where the market is currently moving. So for me, this is an extreme level of resistance and it can work very, really great. And you will see that the level worked here also. 
so that's how you can draw the levels and let's try to draw a support level so for me you can see market was let's try to find a okay i need and here also you can see market goes up 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 and it reverses from that level this was the extreme level market didn't hit this level until at this point and got reversed from this level so that's why i always say that extreme levels are very powerful once you know how to draw them like uh, let's try to draw them in a downtrend market uh, and also understand one thing i'm not saying that you can draw the resistance extreme resistance only in uptrend you can also draw them in the downtrend like suppose in this case market was strongly moving in the upward direction and you see this is the resistance zone market respected here respected here again some respect uh, respected here and broke through and after that it is working as a support now i'm not saying this is an extreme support for me this was the extreme resistance it worked here and once it's failed this can work as a support but that is not going to be an extreme support understand one thing now let's talk about the second thing you can see market was strongly moving in the upward direction it retraces back and you see that market reverses from this level was not able to break through you can see market reverse so this we can use as a extreme support let's try to find if market respected this level okay you can see market respected this level it goes up market again touch the same level rejected back again so that is how you can draw extreme levels you have to find the edge of the market in the current scenario and that's uh, and after that you can use them like in this case you will see that uh, i don't see any sharp reversal for me this is a good level but this is the extreme one it's a potential level but for me extreme levels are this so both are good levels but if we got a chance to place the trade always stick with the extreme levels because extreme levels are very very strong so that's how you can draw the extreme levels now let's move on to the whole number part so uh, according to me and my analysis i always believe that the exit and the entry happens at whole numbers the numbers which have zero in the end why because if suppose you are a trader and you want to enter your trade you will select a number like uh, 1.12800 rather than selecting a number like 1.12789 so the numbers which ends with zero i call them whole number and i uh, i like believe that when they are near to a potential support or resistance level they work really great like uh, let me explain you with this uh, chart only so you can see if we draw a potential resistance level let's forget about the breakout here suppose market is here you see that this is a potential resistance level but if you look carefully you will see that above there is a whole number which is if you look here you will see that this is 1.12900 so if you include this number also in the resistance zone it is going to help you you can see here it worked here so that's how that's why you have to include the whole number also let me show you more example but understand one thing these uh, whole number needs to be present near to the potential support or the resistance level i'm not saying that using the whole number only is going to help you i'm saying you have to include them once they are near very near to the potential support or the resistance level like mm, i have to find some example
Okay. Mm. No, we don't have any example that I can use to show you. Okay. So here you can see I I explained you about how you can draw uh, you can use this level as a potential support level. Now if you look carefully you will see that market here is a whole number. Now if you include that one and we have to okay so if you use this uh, the whole if you include the whole number you will see that market is respecting this zone here also you can see there is whole number present so including them is beneficial and once and uh, one more uh, thing also that if you find uh, if you're drawing your levels like if i draw this resistance level and you find that there is a whole number level present in between this zone then it's a good thing because it will make your level stronger so i hope that you have understand the concept what i'm trying to teach you so now let's try to combine everything that we have learned in this video and try to use a new chart to draw some key levels so as you can see market is here so for me the potential levels are this support level is a potential reversal point and this resistance is also a potential reversal one market is here so we can wait for the market to hit this level or this level either to take a reversal trade now if we have draw a potential level let's try to find if we have any extreme levels well, if you look carefully, this is actually an extreme level of support and this is actually an extreme level of support. Now, let's try to include this one and so we have got this zone of extreme resistance, extreme resistance, which is also a potential resistance level, which are very near to the market and if you look carefully you will see that there is a whole number also in between which is 155200 if you look carefully here you will see the number and here also you will see that there is a whole number which is 155.050 so we have got the whole number we have got the extreme level these levels are potential reversal point and that's how you can draw these levels and I'm not saying that they are going to work 100% of the time. Once you draw them, your job is finished. No, this is just the first step on using your strategy. According to me, using key levels are important, but they are not the complete strategy. You have to stick with the price action. You have to use the trend line also. You have to use the confirmation from the candlestick also. The momentum is also important. But this is the first step on drawing a key levels that can reverse that like that that can give you a reversal point in the market. So that is it about this uh, video. I hope that you have learned something out of this video. Make sure you like such videos and I will make sure that you will get more videos like this on every concept like the next video is going to be on the trend line. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Till then keep trading. Keep working hard if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching good day